okay hello guys this is the exclusive tutorial so i'll be i'll be giving the calculation aspect on current electricity electricity one so from the first question we're giving that the cross-sectional area which is here is equal to three times three super minus six the current carries a current of 10 ampere current giving the it gives one free electron the number of electron is one so from there the molar mass was given the density was given the no, what we're told to calculate for the drift velocity so now remember that our dq is equal to n e a v d t now from that first formula i gave you guys and our i is equal to dq over dt rather so our i here is equal to n e a v so now this is what we are interested in the velocity so the v is equal to i all over n e a v but before doing that our small n is equal to our Avogadro's constant divided by the volume and remember that our volume is equal to density is equal to mass over volume so our volume is equal to mass over density so i can replace that here i'll be having n is equal to n a if you are replacing this with this guy you'll be having density over mass so our n therefore is equal to n a density over mass so now first of all let's calculate our value for n so 6.02 times 10 raised to power 23 times the density 8.95 divided by the molar mass of the compound 63.5 so solving this you'll be having so solving this you'll be having this as your value 848.5 Four nine times ten raised to power twenty. So you'll be having this as your value for n. Then after doing that part, after doing that part, you now have to calculate for our drift velocity, our v, which is equal to the current. Remember the current from the question was given to be 10. The current was given from the question to be 10 divided by divided by n n which you have calculated to be 8. Point, okay, 848.49 times 10 raised to power 20 times you are dividing this so times 1.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 19 times the area we're giving area to be 3.6 3 times 10 raised to the power minus okay let me write that on that here times 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 times the value for the oh 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 this is not expected to be here if you are uh, deriving the value for your velocity uh, and the drift velocity you have to divide both sides by the coefficient of the view so you will not be left with any value for voltage here. so if you times this value together you'll be having your drift velocity value so after inputting that this is what i had as my value 245.5 theory meter per second no take notes velocity is in meter per second so this is your answer to that question okay for the second part of the question you said an aluminum wire 7.5 meter long is connected in parallel with a copper wire 6 meter long so now these are the parameters we're given the length of the aluminum wire the length of the copper wire the current passing through the combination like they said here when the current passes through the combination is 5 ampere then the current of aluminium the diameter of one and the diameter of the other one which is unknown so the only relationship which is guiding all these um, uh, quantities we are being given is the resistance so let's make one arrow one 
resistance for the aluminium wire R1 to be equal to density 1. So for the other one, R2, this is not density, rather, this is a resistivity. So from there, if you are solving, you'll be having R1 over R2, which is equal to, we are, we are dividing um, both sides so we can find the relationship both with both resistive, uh, resistance, rather. So after dividing this guy by this guy, at the end it will turn to multiplication. This one will be going up, the other one coming down. So I don't want to do that part so we can quickly watch this video. So now you find out that we're not giving resistance in this question. But if you can re uh, remember vividly from Hun's law, we we're told that um velocity uh, voltage is equal to I R and Um, in parallel connection, remember that this um, this question says that um, the question says that um, both of them are connected parallelly. So if both of them are connected parallelly, the voltage passing through them are similar to each other. So I can say the V1 is equal to V2. So if voltage in both cases are equal to each other. So I can say I, uh, I1, R1 is equal to I2, R2. So now, I want to bring a relationship here. So now, my R1 over R2 will be equal to I2 over what? I1. So now, this is relationship. R1 over R2 is equal to, um, is equal to I2 over I1. So now, in this case, the, re the first resistance um, the re the resistance normally the resistance in the question was the resistance in the question was not given initially, but we can relate it to the current. Now our I two our I two is the value for the current for the um, um, the current for the uh, copper um, stuff. So that current is not given here, but we can calculate the current. Remember that in parallel connection the and the current are uh, related by in parallel connection of a um, circuit system um, current are usually related by total current passing through um, a parallel connection is the sum of the individual current found in the branches so now the current the uh, current of the combination is equal to the current of the aluminium plus the current of the copper let me take this to this other part of the board Okay, so now the the second co current, which is the current for the copper case, is unknown. But now I told you that the current of the combination is equal to the current of copper plus current of aluminium. But take note, uh, copper in this case is the I two. So now the current of the combination is equal to I two plus I one, where the combi uh, the combined current is equal to five ampere. Rather, the five, uh, combined current is 5 ampere. The I2, in this case, the second current is equal to the unknown one, I2. But the first current is equal to I3, which is 3, value, um, 3 ampere. So now, our I2 is therefore equal to 5 minus 3, which will give you 2 ampere. So now, this is the value for... This is the value for the current for the second part. That is the, that of the copper. So now... From here, we can solve. Let's just use 0.27 there. Okay, now. So now for the um, for the question, we will now replace R1 and R2 by I2 and I1. Now, our I2 in this case is 2 ampere. So, it will be 2 over theory is equal to a resistivity of the aluminium is 0 0.28 so I'll, I'll come here and write it 0 0.28 times the length of the the, the length of the first um, uh, one which is that of uh, aluminium 
our L1, which is equal to that of aluminium, L1, let's just change this to L1, L1, L2, I1, I2, D1, D2. Okay, now. So now, our L2 is equal to 7.5 times the area our A2, the area of the um, of the copper in this case, because A2 has to do with the length of the copper. So now the area of the A2, that is the area of copper, is unknown because that is what we are looking for in this case. Divided by our A1. A1 can be calculated. Remember that area is equal to pi d square over 4. Pi r square, pi d square over 4, the same thing. So now, the diameter is given, so it will be pi bracket pi bracket 1 times 10 raised to power minus 3 all square over 4. So using this, you'll be having the value for the um, A2. So let me punch that in my, calculation, my calculator. Let me see what it will give me. And value. I had 0 0.86 times 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Minus 7. Now, our area is in meter already because I converted it. Meter square. So this is my value for the heat in area. So it's 7.86 times 10 raised to the power minus 7 meter square times. Then, our resistivity to the value for it is, oh, I think this value initially, let me look for it. Okay, 0 0.1, 0 0.0, 0 0.017. So now this is value 0 0.017. So now I can just impute it there. We'll be having 0 0.017 times. Now our L2, what is our L2 in this case? 6. So now we are looking for A2. We'll now be, if we are to make A2 the subject of formula here, we'll be having something of this nature. 2 times 7.86 times 10 raised to the power minus 7 times 0 0.017 times 6 all over 3 times 0 0.28 times 7.5 so if you solve this you'll be having let me punch my calculator and see what it gives me that I had Add 2.55 times 10 raised to power 1. Okay, times 10 raised to power minus 8 meter square. This was what I had. So now, we are not done with the question because the question says we should calculate the value for the diameter. It's like we leave the last question on this um, part. You can take that last question if you've you can take the last question as a question which you can take. You can take the last question as as uh, the one which you can which you can uh, solve at your leisure time. So now, remember that area is equal to pi d square over um, over four, like I said. So now, if I introduce my uh, area value, it will now be two point five five times 10 raised to the power minus 8 is equal to pi d square over 4. So my d square now will be equal to 2.55 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 times 4 all over 3.142. So my d is equal to the square root of 2.55 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 times 4 all over 3.142 so solving that we'll be having so when i solve that this was what i had as my value one two three four i had 1.80 times 10 raised to power minus four now take note this value is in meter so this is the answer you'll be having so that is that under this part for um current electricity the last question i would 
I'll be giving it a detail so you can take it home as you can you can solve that at your leisure time. So the question is a electric heater is operate is operated by applying a potential difference of 50 volts to the nichrome wire of the resistor of the resistance 8 ohms. So we are now told to find the current applied by the wire and the power rating of the heater. So the question is very simple. Remember, I should um, uh, repeat the question so in case you didn't get it you can get it now i said a electric heater is operated by applying a potential difference of 50 volts to the nichrome wire of resistance 8 ohm so now we are told to find the current carried by the wire and the power so in doing that let me just give you a hint on how you do it remember that since you are giving the voltage and everything just you remember that I gave you one uh, um, formula that relates um, Ohm's law, which is V is equal to IR. You can use that to get the current. Then power, you can use, remember power is equal to IV, is also equal to I square R, and is also equal to V square over R. So you can use that, this three formula to get the value for the power rating for the, um, the heater. So that is that or not that. So if you have any question, you can just drop your question on this uh, comment section or or simply then uh, take it to the wasa group where we can um, uh, exclusively answer those your question so thank you